Your business is all about service, service to pets and service to their owners. So leash time is all about service too. Every visit is a service performed at a certain day and time. Every service type has its own description, standard client charge, and standard pay rate. This makes client schedules much clearer, and it helps you determine which types of service are most popular and profitable to your business. This video will show you how to set up your business's service types, and how to set custom service charges and service pay rates for individual clients and sitters. First, let's look at the standard service list. To do so, we click on the service list item in the admin pull-down menu. So far, we have three services defined, dog walk 15 minutes, dog walk 30 minutes, and dog wash. Let's add a service type called overnight stay. We click on add another service and get a blank row. We type in overnight stay as the label and then fill in the other details. If local law demands it, we can mark the service taxable. Next, we enter the service price in dollars, let's say 75, and we can specify an amount to add on to that for each additional pet if we like. For the standard sitter rate, we have a choice of stating the pay rate as a percentage of the service price or as a flat dollar amount. If we want to make it a flat dollar amount, we deselect the percentage checkbox. Note how the background changes for the sitter rate fields to remind us that these fields are now dollar amounts. Selecting percentage again would make them pink. So we can set the rate to $37.50 with $5 for each extra pet, or we might set the pay rate to 50% for the rate and 100% for the extra pet rate. Once we have it the way we want, we can add more services or work with the other services in the list. Any changes you make here have no immediate effect on existing visits or schedules, but future alterations you make to visits or schedules will include these changes. Although you can edit many aspects of a service type, once you create it, leash time is pretty strict about changing its name. That's because visits of that type may already be on the books. Correcting a typo might not hurt anything, but changing the label from dog walk 30 minutes to cat visit could cause considerable confusion, since all visits of that type would be relabeled. If you really want to change a service type label, you can delete the service and recreate it if no visits of that type yet exist, or you can deactivate the service type and create a replacement with the desired name. You can delete a service by clicking on the red X next to it. Leash Time reminds you that the service will be deleted when you save changes and that you can click here to retain this service. If a service has no red X, then it cannot be deleted because there are visits of this service type. This does not mean that we are stuck with these services forever, though. Let's say we no longer want to see Dog Walk 30 Minutes as a service because we want to say DW30 instead. We cannot delete this service because there are already Dog Walk 30 Minutes visits set up. So instead, we mark the service inactive, ensuring that it will no longer appear in the service types menu. Then we create a service called DW30 that is just like it. We save our changes, and now we have a deactivated service called Dog Walk 30 Minutes and a new service called DW30. We can make these services appear in any order we like by clicking the Edit Menu Order button. Here, we can drag and drop the menu items. Let's move DW30 to the top of the menu. We press and hold down the left mouse button over DW30. Then, still holding down the left mouse button, we drag the mouse to the top of the list and we release the mouse button. We can move Dog Wash to the end of the list in the same way. We press and hold the mouse over Dog Wash, and then we drag it to the bottom of the list and release. When the list looks right, we save our changes and continue. Leash Time asks us if we want to redisplay this page, and we click OK. Our service list looks pretty good now. Often, the longer a sitter works for you, the more valuable she becomes and so we may want to pay her a little more than other sitters. Leash Time lets you do that with custom pay rates for sitters. 
Let's review the pay rates for our sitter, Sally Strand, and recognize her superior work. We can find her by clicking on the Sitter List item under the Sitter's menu. Once we locate her name, no difficult task here, we click on it and we see her Sitter profile. From here, we can click on the Pay tab to review her service rates. For each of our services, we see the standard rate in this column, and next to it the custom rate, if any, Sally gets for the service. We could, for example, bump her up to 60% for most services, and keep her at 75% for dog washes. As with the standard service rates, we can express her pay as a flat dollar amount, or as a percentage of the price charged to the client. Once we are done with the changes, we can, if we like, apply these changes to Sally's visits that are already set up by clicking the Apply New Rates button. In the Apply New Rates window, we can set an effective date and review the visits that might be affected by Sally's rates changes. We can see for each visit what she is scheduled to be paid right now, and to the right what she will be paid after we apply the rates. You can select as many of these visits as you like and then hit the Apply Rates button. When Leash Time is done updating her visits, it reports back to us how many changes it made. Sometimes it makes sense to charge clients a custom price for some services. Perhaps the customer lives outside of your usual business territory, and so you charge a little more. Or perhaps you offer the client a break on his service because he is a friend. Leash Time makes that easy to do also. Let's customize the client Bernard Shell's price list. We go to his client profile by typing part of his name into the search box, and then we click on the billing tab. Here we see each of our services and the standard price for each. Next to the standard price, we can enter a custom price. Now, Bernie Shell is a nice guy, but he lives in New York City, so we're going to charge him $25 for the 30-minute walk rather than $20, since Sally has to drive three hours to get there each time. Poor Sally. You see why we pay her extra? Anyway, it turns out that dog walking is a taxable service in the Big Apple, so we have to collect New York City's tax from Bernie as well. That will apply to any service we provide to this client, so we'll put it in for the other services as well. Then we save our changes. Unlike the custom sitter rates, Leash Time does not yet offer a way to apply price changes from this tab, but you can work around this using the Visits Detail Editor, which is found in the Services tab. This shortcoming will be addressed in a future version of Leash Time. Before we finish, let's look at the effects of the changes we made to the service types. We will look at one of Bernie Shell's visits. First of all, please note the service type of this visit. It says inactive dog walk 30 minutes to remind us that dog walk 30 minutes is no longer an active service type. When we edit the service, we see that the service type field is blank and that a note below it reminds us that dog walk 30 minutes is no longer an option. So let's choose its replacement, DW30. Here it is, and here is the overnight stay service type we added earlier. And note that although the standard price charged for DW30 is only $20, the price quoted here for Bernie is $25. And note that Sally is slated to get $15 for the service, representing her special 60% rate instead of the 1250 she would get if she were paid only 50%. Thanks for using leash time.